Hi and welcome to this episode about Symmetrons. Today we take a look on another way to handle fluctuation in cargo transporting system. Welcome back. The line have now been operated for a couple of months. In this station, which we have here, we see that there is only medical. So our solution simply work. However, we have another problem. In the graph, we see that there is fluctuation in the delivery. So we get nearly two and a half months of supply with two month interval. One of the reasons is it takes too long time for the trucks to drive up to the pharmacy. That can we actually don't do so much. We can theoretically move over to train. But train roll at the moment for 90 km per hour and trucks rolling 60 km per hour. So the round trip of about two months don't help us. Another reason why this problem occur is that the capacity in the medical packing plant is higher than the demand and it much higher. One of the reason is that the medical packing plant are boosted not just by electricity, but also by mail. So they can produce a lot of medicine. But we can actually damper the response from the medical packing industry by cut up the line in pieces and just have enough truck to deliver that amount of cargo per month what the pharmacy actually want. So even if they produce more medical at the medical packing plant, they cannot deliver so much cargo to the pharmacy. So we simply build one new station somewhere along the road and I think here can be one good place for that. This is however an old bridge which we should remove because that bridge only allow 20 km per hour. So we start by doing that. And we replace it with a faster bridge. Now to the new station. No, I activated building tool in a way I don't want. So build some place for the truck to queue up and we're building simply a new station here. So the idea is that from the medical packing plant, truck coming in here and here they leave for cargo to the pharmacy. So now we need two new line. And we should decommission the old line. So we simply reuse the old station at the medical packing industry. And I should have 100%. And of course, I give this a new suitable name, but I do that later. And now we're building a new line again. 
here and up to the pharmacy. And 100%. And we need two new trucks. And now I trim in the first link in this chain. So they deliver enough cargo to the middle station. After that I come back and explain how to deal with the second link. Here we have the first link in this chain. And we see it is some fluctuation, but the important is to figure out how much this link actually can deliver. Because that determines how much capacity we need in the second link. If it is too little there, the station will be overcrowded. But to the important part. Now we see there is still some fluctuation, but it is not so severe as it was previously. There is few months that did not come any cargo at all. However, this technique cannot eliminate the problem 100%, but you can dampen it. And the problem will probably be more dampen when we have a more stable situation on the male side up at the pharmacy because just now it's going up and down because there is simply too little mail track in the system so mail delivery don't come as it should and we have a similar situation at the other pharmacy and thereby we have a variation in the demand in the industry. That was everything I have to show you. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. In the next episode of Simetrans we take a look on air transport. Thank you for your time.